Hey everyone, I'm gonna be doing in this video. I'm gonna be doing a review on the Le the Lego Movie Two, the second part. Basically, the plot about we just left off in the first film, and there the new there's a new character which she's right there, and they she took took rest as a characters and it's up to Emmett to bring him back and that's what the plot about it. What I think about this show? That's a real, it's an okay sh sequel. And I forgot to mention, I should tell you who directed this movie. Um, one second guys. This movie is directed by Mike Mitchell and guys, I apologize for not mentioning you and Kitty from the First film. I apologize for not mentioning it. At least I said every character is awesome, and she's an awesome character in this. She's a good character. She was good in this movie, and there's also a new character. There's also a character named um, Rex. I will be telling you guys way about this character, and he had a backstory. And it turned out. I thought he was a good guy when I was watching. I thought he was a good guy, but you want to be shocking, guys? He was actually a bad guy, and and I thought also also I thought she was a bad character. I thought she was a I thought she was the villain, but she isn't. I was like, whoa. And it's gonna be shocking, guys. This movie is kind of is pretty much a rip off to Captain Marvel, which Captain Marvel was a masterpiece, but. Even though this movie, it it felt like a rip off to that to to kind of Marvel. Even though I like both, even though this is a good movie, no, I don't hate this movie. Well, guys, it, this why I think about this, this movie is, is not as good as the first film, and the first film was much better. And let's talk about Lord Business. He was very. He is not a. He was. Not in, he was burying the movie the whole time in the movie. He wasn't burying the movie. He was in a, he was in the beginning and the end. What he did was all he did was go and golf. And yeah, that's what he did. And all the characters, most characters didn't get screen time except um, Emmett. I just think he didn't get. I see he got more screen time than the rest of the characters. Same with Lucy. Um, overall, guys, I think Greg is a cool character. But I didn't like the part, even though he turned out a bad character. He turned. He was cool. He's a cool character. But sadly, guys, this movie bomb at the box office, and it looks like we may not get a seat. Get a sequel, but the first film looked like we we're not gonna get Lego Movie Three. But I want a Lego Movie Three. But the but the first film did well in the box office. Why not this movie? And also, Lego the Dragon did, did well in the box office, and but ba Lego Batman did. And maybe Lego Batman could get a sequel. I don't know about that, but it looks like this is not going to be. Just it looks like it's not going to be a Lego Movie Three. But I heard that. Universal now knows has the rights for Lego, and I heard that they might reboot Lego Movie. I heard they're gonna reboot it, and we're not sure what it's gonna be. We don't know if it's gonna be, if it's gonna be a different character with a different family playing with toys, or maybe they can do something else. I don't know. This is a good movie, and not as good as. This is an okay movie, but. This is an okay-ish movie, but unfortunately, guys, remember I gave Lego Movie 1 a 10 out of 10, Lego Ninjago a 10 out of 10, Lego Batman a 10 out of 10, but sadly, guys, when I first watched this movie, boy, this movie did not age well. I'm sorry to give this, I'm sorry to tell you guys, but this movie sadly gets us. Are you ready for this, guys? I give this movie... A seven out of ten. It's that's good, but not per. It's not the best movie, but even this movie had some 
It was not as good as the first movie. And at least all the characters are awesome. But unfortunately, most of them didn't get screen time, and sadly. But this movie was directed by, like I said, this was directed by Mike Mitchell. And at least he did a good job in this movie. But, yeah, but I watched this movie two times. Yes, I did saw this movie in theater five. I, the first time I watched it in theaters, but the second time was online. When I first watched online, oh boy, it didn't age well. Sorry, guys. Well, guys, I give this a 7 out of 10. It's good, but not the best. It's, this is the end of my rant. I mean, not a rant. It is a review, I meant. So, guys, bye, guys.